At 3.30, we got, inarguably, in my opinion, the best game of the 3.30 window. We got number 24, Kansas, who's 4-0. Charter number 3, Texas, who's 4-0. And, and one of the... There's not many this week. There was a lot last week. There's not many this week. I don't know if there's any more, but we got undefeated versus undefeated. Um, Texas Fair was 16 and a half on ABC, by the way. This is by far the best game of the 3.30 window. Jalen Daniels for the Jayhawks got 56 of 75, thrown for 705 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. Devin Neal is at 57 carries for 394 yards and five touchdowns on the ground, and Lawrence Arnold's had 18 catches for 246 yards. Quinn Ewers for the Longhorns has gotten 72 of 112, thrown for 1,033 yards, nine touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Jonathan Brooks on the ground has had 65 carries for 379 yards and three touchdowns, and Jatavian Sanders had 12 catches for 268 yards and a touchdown. Texas is 17-4 and four against Kansas all-time. Last game went to what, Texas in 2022. But four of the last six games have been one-possession football games. Um, some A lot of Kansas fans are going to remember the one from two years back where they beat Texas in overtime with the two-point conversion. Um, both these teams are coming off impressive week fours, right? Texas played Baylor, and to be fair, it is Baylor. Um, Baylor's looking like arguably one of the worst teams in the Big 12 right now. But... I thought Baylor had a shot in that one. Baylor had a shot at least holding them close, and Texas just blew them out of the water. It wasn't close. They didn't even let them stay in it for a little bit. And I think it's kind of showing that Wyoming was a little bit of a, um, a, I don't know, a game that you didn't play as great at after you won a huge game, right? Like, Texas won a huge game against Alabama, and it kind of slept walk through the majority of that game against Wyoming, and which is why it allowed Wyoming to keep it close through the majority. Again, tied in the fourth. Uh, Kansas was impressive last week against BYU. I mean, that's a solid BYU team. That's a BYU team that I think is going to give a lot of teams some trouble this year. That's a Cougars team that I think is very good. They beat Arkansas in Fayetteville. Fayetteville. I don't know. But it's a very good BYU team. It's an underrated BYU team. Um, and they beat them. And they didn't beat them just by a little. They, they controlled the majority of that second half. And I think a lot of, just, a lot of that is, like, showing some grit, right? They, they were losing at halftime. I'm sure it was 17-14. But BYU was up in that football game, and you had to come back, and they did. Um, Jayhawks are playing good football right now. Texas is playing really good football right now. I don't think this is a 16.5-point game. I understand that uh, so people are going to say it's a 16.5-point. I don't think it is. I like Texas to win. I think Quinn Ewers is playing some really good football right now, but I think Jalen Daniels is also playing some very good football right now. Give me Texas to win, but I think Kansas covers that spread.